We talked about earthquake a couple weeks ago, and I'm gonna play a very, very, very short little cartoon about what a earthquake is. Bunch of buildings. There's the ground. Ground goes up and down. And what happens to the buildings? They shake, they wobble. Some of them fall down. They're unstable. Yep. Okay, so here we've got the ground. The buildings that shake. Okay, and can the earth go in a wave? Yes. Can it shake back and forth? Yes. Okay, so it can move lots of different ways. So I have a model. Everybody put your hands out. We're gonna practice this together. Okay, you're holding your tub. Okay, you're holding the top of your tub, like this part right here, this lip. Okay, top of the tub. We're gonna go back and forth, not side to side, but back and forth. Here we go, count with me. One, two, three, four. Hi. Hmm, what's going on? It's okay, I'm going to write some ideas well. Why do we think it toppled? Keisha, why do you think it fell down? It's not steady. It's not steady, okay. Uh, Faith, why? Uh, because uh, it's not down in the dirt far enough. It's not down in the dirt far enough? Okay. Um, because it's sand. It's sand. Why would, it, why would sand matter? Because, because it's, it's not as stable as dirt. Okay. Alyssa, why else? It's not, it's unstable. It's just, it's unstable? Yes. Okay. Okay, Zoe, why else? It has no foundation. Has no foundation. We have it. Okay, make sure your name's on the front. I want everybody to find this page, the front page. It looks kind of like the sun. What does the Earth. title say? Earth. Earth. Layers, Layers of the Earth. I want you to talk with your team about what do you see on this diagram. I'm gonna give you one minute to talk to your team about what do you see. I see that they took a giant chunk out of the earth. What do you see on your diagram? I see that the a piece of the earth got pulled out and magnified. There's a piece of the earth that's like pulled out and pushed over and magnified. Okay, good words. What else do we see? Um, the inner core. The inner core, okay. What do I have? An apple. An apple. An apple. I'm going to put it right here on my screen. Okay, so we're going to open up our apple here. Oh. Okay, this part right here, it's the what of the apple? Skin. Skin. Is it really thick or is it really thin? Thin. Thin. Okay, now flip your page over. Soil layers. <laughs> Tell your partners, read with your partners each layer straight down on 2-2. Two, two. These four layers are all right there in the Earth's crust. So if I, were, if I put all those layers in the skin of the apple, that's how much fits in that little tiny little area is all these layers. Okay, you are going to get a little tube. Suman used a what? A big, a big tube. A big tube and a huge machine. machine. Okay, you are going to get a bucket. It will have a one or a two on the bucket. You need to write down one or two right here. 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 Okay, here you go. I'm pushing it down and I have to push really, really hard. hard. Slow. Slow, and I gotta push Deep. really hard and make sure I get all the way to the bottom. Okay, what do I do next? Uh, and then he twisted and flipped okay. I'm gonna twist it all the way around, ready? See my hand moving? Twist, 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 twist. And then what does he do? Lift it. Lift it. There we go. I got it. Cool. Okay, so now I can take a look at it and I can use that word with O. What is that Observe. word? Observe. Observe. Okay, now I'm going to actually draw what mine looks like and label it. You're going to go get a bucket. Ready? Go. Push it. Okay, now you need to diagram this. Not page two four. Don't let it fall. Okay. Leave it alone. Get your thing. Get your it's paper, gonna fall. Okay. Bedrock. Ladies and gentlemen, are you looking carefully at your core sample? Yeah, okay. What about the texture of it? What? Look carefully. Are there little particles in it? Are there big particles? 
Is it smooth? The clay is smooth. Okay, I need you to decide who is going to be your presenter. Okay, so there's in the top is what? Top soil. Top soil. Okay. Does anybody else's sample look anything like Zoe's? Stand up if you're you're the presenter. If your sample looks a little bit like Zoe's. Okay, Avery, tell me about yours. Mine has clay on the bottom. Sand in the middle, and then the top is kind of sand and dirt. How many layers does number one have? Three, 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 four, 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 four. Oh, model one has four layers, and model two has how many layers? Three layers. Okay. This is your challenge. How do geo geotechnical engineers use their knowledge of the layers of the earth to prevent damage to structures during earthquakes? This is what we're going to think about what we're do when we're doing this. You actually are going to make a recommendation to a construction company on where and how to put up these skyscrapers. I want you to watch what I do so that you can do the same thing. Does my bucket have foil on it? No. Okay, you actually are going to take the foil off of your bucket. There's a couple steps to this. You're going to put your skewers, remember you're not touching anything yet. See how it's lined up right there? This is my top mark is at the bottom of my skyscraper. I have to do the same thing to the other side. I'm going to put my rubber bands carefully and use teamwork. You guys did awesome this last time. You're going to put your, whoa. Well, you're going to put your rubber bands, double rubber band, because these are big rubber bands, around the block so they're tight. Move it all the way down here, and I'm going to use one more. Now, if your skewers get messed up, it's okay, because you can still move it. See, I can kind of move it back here and make it even. We could have gone out of our work doing that. We're gonna sh we're gonna give this an earthquake, and then we're gonna see is it stable or unstable. Think, what is stable? What would mean that this skyscraper is stable? What tells you that? Don't put your hand up yet. Think. Stable. What is a stable skyscraper going to look like? Okay, it stays straight. Um, it's not, it's not on its side. And it's not on its side. So unstable. Okay, tell me what unstable looks like. Uh, Alyssa. Huh? Crooked. Crooked. It would be wavy. It would wave? Oh, okay. It would be moving around. It would be moving. Anchor. Undulate. Undulate. It might undulate. So these are our two criteria. It's either going to be stable or unstable. Okay, show me. Uh, you gotta go to the clay. I know. She's going. Have you all taken turns doing the earthquake? Yeah, awesome teamwork. Okay. I think. So that means it's stable. Oh, yeah! <laughs> so it's stable. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so you're the voices I want to hear. What was your top layer? Top soil. Top soil. Top soil. And was it stable or unstable? Unstable. Okay, oh, yeah. and model site two, what was your next layer? Stable. Stable or unstable? Unstable. Okay, last one. What was down here at the okay. bottom? Christy, was your stable or unstable in the clay? Stable. It was stable? Okay, so we kind of have a mix here on this bottom one. Here is model site two. Here is model site one. one. You are looking at both of them. We know that the further down we go, the more what happens. If you had to build a building, 
You're the person who has to decide this. Which one's the better site to pick? Bed one. 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 So in this area of Washington, um, we actually do get a lot of earthquakes. We practice earthquake drills on this side of the world, and so they understand what that part is, but to see what it is and to understand the different plates and all those kinds of things they've not seen. So I pull in other information from other sources. Um, we use some websites that we show short little videos on. Um, I have also actually in the past um, used iPods and used seismometers to show how things move back and forth. Um, so there's lots of different things that you can pull into that. Um, so that was probably the chal most challenging part was getting them to understand what an earthquake was and how it actually maybe felt or what it looks like or what does it do to the buildings. And so that's probably the part that um, needs just some things to pull into it.